Hi everyone, so this is another Harry Potter book that I want to share with you today. Um, it's a magical yearbook, a cinematic journey, imagine, draw, create. Um, and I think it's being sold in a few places in the UK at the moment and probably online, but I picked mine up in Asda. Um, I think it was... I want to say seven pounds or maybe it was four pounds but you could buy two books for seven pounds it was something like that anyway and I bought it with another book so I'm sure it was four pounds and you could buy two for seven um, so yeah it's being sold in Asda and various other places and I'm sure you can buy it online um, I've been I think I've seen that it comes with different covers as well um, this was the only one they had in my store um, so that's all I had to choose from but I'm quite happy with it so yeah um, sorry I'll have to excuse the mess around I'm in the middle of making some changes in my bedroom but anyway so this is a magical yearbook let's have a look inside oh and as you can see you could see on the front it's got both Fantastic Beasts and Harry Potter stuff inside of it so it's basically, I suppose it's a bit like the annuals that they do every year for kids. They haven't called it an annual, but it's pretty much, that's what it is. Um, and it's primarily aimed at children, but we'll ignore that. Um, Harry Potter's not just for kids, folks. Um, so in the front you can write who it belongs to and what you are. So are you a witch, a muggle or a nomad, a wizard or a squib? I want to show you that lovely artwork there of Newt and Harry. That is so lovely. It's a shame that's not like a pull-out poster because that would look lush on the wall. Um, and then, so we've got the introduction page, contents. I'm not going to go through all the contents with you because you're going to see it as I go through the book. And a introduction and a lovely fold-out of Fantastic Beasts. Now this is quite interesting, this book, because most things i found where it's Harry Potter and Fantastic Beasts in a book, they always do Harry Potter stuff first and then Fantastic Beasts, but this is the other way around. The, the Fantastic Beasts stuff is first in this book. I guess maybe they've done it that way because the film came out more recently, but anyway, it's kind of cool to see it first. Um, so first we have a bit about Newt, and on this page it says, imagine you were going on a trip to search for fantastic beasts, what would you take with you? Sketch the items in the case below. So that's quite a fun thing to have to do. I'm not sure I'm actually going to do any of this. If I do want to do it, I'm probably going to photocopy the pages and print them and keep the book nice. Um, or buy another copy. Who knows? Probably photocopy though, because I don't really need to have two of the books. I'm taking up space in my room. Unless I can find one with a different cover, then I might buy it again. Um, anyway, then we've got New York City, and on this page, it's like little postcards, but they're not card, they're just paper, but like little prints of some postcards, which you could cut out and actually use if you wanted to. Um, so then we're on to the Wizarding World Guide to Wands and Spells, and this bit is quite fun, because we have got um, about it's got a picture of each of the ones of the main characters in Fantastic Beasts and then on um, you fold the page out and there's a little quiz where you can say well it's not a quiz actually you just have to tick off which feature you would like your wand to have from each of the sections and then on there you can draw your wand so that's kind of cool. Um, what have we got? We have got a wand permit, a Makusa wand permit identification card. So that's kind of cool. Um, and then on this fold out bit, it's about special spells. And then on that page, it says, the page on the right, it says, what if you could decor uh, create your own spell? What would you name it? What would it do? And what would it look like? 
and it says draw here what your spell would look like as it's being cast and then you can put its name, its effect and its colour. So again, that's quite a nice, cool little interactive bit for you to do. And I suppose the um, wand, the identification card, you could probably... Well, I doubt you're going to cut it out because then you would miss that bit on the back. But you could photocopy that and then print it. And that's kind of cool. So then we've got Fantastic Spells and about Makusa. Um, and then here is about the New Salem Philanthropic Society and on this page it says Mary Lou Barebone uses posters and pamphlets to recruit members of her army of second Salemers imagine if you were recu recruiting people to join a society of your own what would it be called? design a poster that would help recruit people to your society so again, quite fun. I think this is probably one of my favourite pages though, um, or favourite things to do. Here we've got New York Friends, um, and then we've got Fit for a Queen, and it's Queenie always dresses to impress. Design a stylish outfit below that you could imagine Queenie wearing. And I really like that. I'm definitely going to photocopy that page and have a go at that. Queenie's one of my favourite characters from the film. I just think she's so... Well, she's just gorgeous. She's really stylish and beautiful and kind. And yeah, I love her outfits that she wears. So I'm going to have fun trying to design something for her. Um, this is one of my favourite pages to read in the book. And it is about the beasts of Fantastic Beasts. So as you can see, we've got Niffler, Demi... Demi Guise? Demi Guise? I'm not entirely sure the correct way of saying it. Um, Billywig, Irumpent, Mertlap, and Bowtruckle. So that's cute. And here we have another interactive page, and it's Naughty Niffler. The Niffler is perhaps. Hang on. I can't read it properly. The Niffler is perhaps the escapee that causes the most trouble for Newt during his short visit. It can't help but steal anything that sparkles. Finish colouring this mischievous creature and don't forget to add the sparkly items in its paws. So that's kind of cool. Although it's funny because when I first saw it I thought it was going to be a maze. But it's not. It's just a picture to colour. But that's still kind of cool. And then we've got another lovely picture here of Newt. Um, and another on the back of that new picture is this muggle-worthy artwork, which is really cool. Um, so then on here we've got Danger in the City. During Newt's visit to New York, Danger seems to lurk around every corner. Decide which you think posed the greatest threat to our Magizuolis... Magizu... Zoologist, <laughs> sorry, I can't read today. By numbering the sentences below from one to five, with one being the least dangerous and five being the most. And the options are escape creatures such as the rampant Arumpant, Makusa officials who try to imprison him, the return of the dark wizard, Gellert Grindelwald, sorry, I was moving the camera, the radical Mary Lou Barebone who firmly crusades against the wizards and witches. The Obscurus, a dark and violent force that manifests itself when a child born with magical powers suppresses his or her abilities. So yeah, you have to put it in order as to which thing you think is the most dangerous. Um, so then on these pages it's about the Obscurus. And here it says, Imagine that you are the writer of this top wizarding magazine and you've been tasked with writing about the Obscurus. Draw pictures and write a headline that tells the story. So, yeah. That's what we do on there. Now we're into the Harry Potter section, starting with this beautiful two, like, centrefold artwork picture. Um, let's have a look what we've got. So, beginnings, it's starting with Alpost. Imagine you could send Harry a letter by Alpost before his first term starts. What sort of questions would you want to ask him? So that's what you can do there. 
then we've got friends and foes about some of the different students and teachers and whatnot. And then we've got the Hogwarts houses. And these are like, again, like little paper postcards you could cut out if you wanted to. And then it's got some of the more famous faces of each of the houses. Right, on here we've got powerful potions. It says, from Polyjuice Potion to Felix Felicis, the cauldrons are always brewing in potions class at Hogwarts. If you could brew a powerful potion from the list below, which one would you choose? And the options are Polyjuice Potion, Aging Potion, Amortentia, Veritaserum, and then it says, now imagine you could make a potion of your very own, what would you call it and what would it do? And you can write the name, effect, and draw it. So then we've got a bit about caring for creatures, a section about the Triwizard Tor Tournament, and a bit about each of the schools. Um, and then young love who suits who draw a line to the partner you think best suits each of our heroes so on here we've got harry ron hermione and the options are cho Ginny, lavender hermione victor and ron reminds me of like teenage magazines where you had to do a quiz to see how compatible you were with your boyfriend and stuff it's quite funny anyway next we're on to a section about quidditch and this page says, Harry, Ron and Ginny all play on the Gryffindor Quidditch team. Design a new kit you can imagine your dream Quidditch team wearing. Don't forget to draw a broom. And then it says, which Hogwarts Quidditch team would you most like to play against? And then we've got about the Horcruxes. And this is a nice little section about the life of Albus Dumbledore, and it's done in kind of like a little timeline, which is quite a nice little feature. And then they've done the same thing, but for Voldemort, so that's kind of cool as well. And then this section we have about Dementors, and it says... The Patronus Charm conjures an animal guardian to defend against a Dementor attack. To cast this powerful defensive spell, the witch or wizard must recall a memory of when they were most happy or hopeful. Think of your own happiest memories, then write them below. It's, God, it's like therapy, isn't it? If you could conjure a Patronus, which animal form do you think it might take? And the choices are cat, bat, stag, owl, dragon, dog or other. According to Pottermore, mine is a West Highland White Terrier. Which I'm pleased that it's a dog. I'm just not pleased about the breed because I'd rather it was a border terrier, which is what my dog is. Um, and a West Highland White Terrier is really not a good choice for her or me because she hates them. So, yeah, I just like to pretend that it's just a terrier, a generic terrier mine. Um, so that's what we'll go with. And so then here we've got Order of the Phoenix. And it says, the Order of the Phoenix is a secret society led by Dumbledore. It is made up of wizards that oppose Lord Voldemort. How many of the members below do you think you can name? Draw a line from each name in the list to one of the portraits below. Now that's kind of easy. Um, but again, it, in theory this is aimed at kids, so maybe they'll find it a bit trickier. But anyway, now imagine if you could be part of the Order of the Phoenix. Draw a picture of yourself in the blank frame. So then on that page, this page here is a little bit about Dumbledore's army again. Um, so here it's about the Deathly Hallows. It says, imagine you came into possession of one of the Deathly Hallows. Which item would you want the most? What would you do with it? And it shows them at the bottom there. Invisibility Cloak, Resurrection Stone, Elder Wand. Um, so yeah, Another little bit to write in. And then we've got about the Death Eaters on this page all about the battle of hogwarts and that's it the end so this is the artwork same as up what's the beginning of the book so yeah it's a nice little book there's the back cover um it's a nice little book and especially if you buy it at asda as part of their deal they've got quite a few harry potter books as well 
that's part of that um, buy two for seven pounds or whatever deal. Um, so if you can get it as part of that, it's a pretty good price. And I think the things in it will be fun to do, especially for younger people and kids. So yeah, definitely worth picking up if you can get a copy of it. And that is the Magical Yearbook, A Cinematic Journey, Imagine, Draw, Create, featuring both Harry Potter and Fantastic Beasts.